Australia, there is a growing initiative commonly referred to as two-way science, which connects cultural knowledge of local Indigenous communities with Western science. Our purpose is to participate in this movement. In the months ahead, the Bunya People's Aboriginal Corporation in Queensland is opening the second Gene Stream Songline sculpture as part of a learnscape for the Bunya Mountains. Our vision is that a continuation of actual and augmented reality sculptures will form a national tourism trail, which will increase an awareness of spiritual relevance of song lines, ecological restoration, cultural restoration, threatened species, and how, through time, deep time, all species are connected. To realise the vision of the Gene Stream Songline sculptures, from the Perongrap Ranges in Western Australia to the Bunya Mountains in Queensland, our team, in partnership with Gone Wanderlink, is working with communities to create a network of Gene Stream sculpt Songline sculptures that celebrate Aboriginal culture, ecology and geology. Here, we see a map of our Aboriginal songlines in the Great Southern, or the Southwest, by Dr Noel Nanner. The red lines that you see are not highways, they are our traditional walk trails. So, what is a songline and what is a gene stream? For thousands of years, our First Nation people have footprinted all across this continent through our songlines to guide our celestial and land-based journeys. These song lines maps connect reference points of the land features to guide our passage across our lands and maintain clan identity and connection to place and purpose. This included trading routes and communication for cultural connection, not only interregional but also nationally. And so what is a gene stream? Gene streams is the name that I gave to the observation that all species are connected within the tree of life. Since 1995, how to visualise this was the question that inspired the creation of many artworks, such as this drawing. It's a detail of a phylogenetic tree. So what is a gene stream? We're all familiar with a gene pool. Well, a gene stream is the sum total of a species' ancestral gene pools through time. A gene stream is the story of heredity flowing through space-time within the tree of life. From a source of shared ancestry, every species has its own unique gene stream story. And as the mortar of which the tree of life is comprised, every individual, past or present, has their own unique address within the tree of life. And most importantly, it's actually locatable. Nature is the sum total of its gene streams. So we can imagine that from this perspective, a song line may be viewed as a means of nav navigating through and surviving within the gene streams. We achieve this by connecting with other species through our totemic system. We need a new way of empowering people to adopt their own species, totem species, to connect with, to care for country. This includes awareness about threatened species as well as totem species that are important to us Aboriginal people. Here you can see my totem, the Tullyarak tree, Eucalyptus plora carpa. We use our totems to identify our tribal boundaries and our connections to the natural world. In the past, when I have been giving welcome to country, I have demonstrated how the time period of colonisation compares to our First Nations people's occupation of Australia, which I want to share with you. This is my depiction of the rainbow serpent, or in Noongar, the wagal, that our song lines tell us about. The first white lines you see on the rainbow serpent highlights colonisation. Then the next one is the last ice age some 12,000 years ago. Eventually, at the end, you can see that we have some 70,000 years of proven Indigenous occupation made visible. With this visual literacy tool, 
I hope you gain an appreciation of the depth of time that Aboriginal culture has continued to live in sustainable harmony with the land. We both have an interest in making the passing of time visible. When I began this journey, I created this painting, 590 million years on a flat surface. In the work, one centimetre represents a million years and each panel represents a different period of geological time. Later on, during an artist residency project at Uluru in Central Australia, I participated in modelling the supercontinent cycle in space time and I refined tools which enabled me to compress and expand the axis of space time in order to see inside of phylogenetic trees. This enabled me to simultaneously view individuals of the same gene stream in different periods of geological time. I expressed these tools through collaborations with Indigenous and non-Indigenous artists. I began to comprehend that Aboriginal culture was in its foundations scientific in reference to Artie Carroll's depiction of the rainbow serpent, in recent times, fossil evidence has been found of a giant python called Wanambi. So, through the knowledge within the song lines, we gain insights into the ancient past. We're all custodians of the living end of the tree of life, and our role is to keep the gene streams flowing through time. Starkly, when a species gene stream stops flowing, that means that that species has become extinct. And so, what is the current health of the gene streams? To answer that question, we're taking a flight through the tree of life to observe some of the gene streams in Australia that have stopped flowing in recent times because the species that were the expressions of these gene streams were unable to adapt to the massive environmental changes that we imposed on them. For the same reason, many more species in Australia and across the world are in decline. So let's have a look at where we are now with the land. What is the present cultural and ecological situation? Well, in a word, it's fragmentation. Fragmentation brought about through the monetization of ecological destruction. How do we go about addressing fragmentation? The proven solution is cultural and ecological restoration by growing connectivity through community and personal participation, which leads to ownership. And how can we increase connectivity that inspires action? It's really not complicated. We do it through tools that facilitate participation. These visual literacy tools that help us build our preferred future that we want to leave as a legacy for our children. To achieve cultural and ecological restoration, our project recognise that the need for us to embrace new ways, which enable us to adopt totem species that we can act to protect. Intelligence should not fragment natural systems. On the contrary, it should nurture them. We need to do more than observe. We need to apply tools that enhance cultural and ecological restoration. And so how do we apply these tools? We're applying these tools through public art, online learning and teaching, gaming, virtual reality and augmented reality. In 2019, with support from the Australian National University, I developed the first Gene Streams virtual reality teaching tools. The Gene Streams Songline sculpture is based on an interactive phylogenetic tree that I designed to assist communities to comprehend and bring natural systems back into balance. This model was designed to one, show people where in the geological time scale species within the same ecosystem shared common ancestry. Two, tell the story of each species over the past couple of hundred years and show the status of each one of those species in the present day. And three, plan out recovery programs for the species into the future. In 2021, we launched our first Gene Stream Songline sculpture at Twin Creeks in Western Australia. When a person enters the sculpture, they're entering a giant phylogenetic tree, which maps out the shared ancestry of 16 selected regional species, including the humans. The geological time scale is depicted in concentric circles. On entry, the individual represents the whole of humanity. This project highlights 
The rhythm and the lived and continuing involvement of these traditional walk trails through community engagement for the purpose of caring for country. It connects communities across Australia through a public art program that promotes an awareness of the song lines, conservation and deep time. In partnership with traditional owners, local communities and connected projects, the Gene Stream Songline Sculpture Initiative is a nationwide project between Indigenous and non-Indigenous artists, community organisation and conservation projects. Through public art and interactive online learning, we offer a two-way narrative experience of the old story through new eyes. Just as a pancake has two sides, so too does this sculpture. On the outside of the songline sculpture, it features the work of Aboriginal artists of the region and field naturalist art of the, about the region from field naturalists. In 2022, we tested our first augmented reality gene stream songline sculpture at Mount Magnet. In this project, during Mount Magnet's Astro Rocks Festival, we connected the stories of the night sky to the stories of the rocks over billions of years, mapping back the ancient cratons of Australia as they travelled across the planet through the supercontinent cycle. It's not just a sculpture that you visit. It's a learning porthole. It's a time machine. It's a means of connecting and sharing and caring for country. This new educational approach visualises and connects us to the natural world and to each other. And so, what is the future? This talk has been about many things. We've introduced you to the biomatrix that we call the tree of life. It's real. We can all be found inside it. My hope is that someone who's never heard of the word biology or ecology can come to this and find themselves within the tree of life and then see an endangered species and say, no, no, I need to do something. I need to help save it. From early childhood to legacy sharing, caring for country is all about caring for the gene streams of country. And this is how we can share the story. When we can see how we are part of nature, we're more likely to protect it. It's so, so important. Recognising the wisdom of our first peoples, we represent the gene streams of species as totems to be cared for by the local people to nurture connectivity. Imagine that by 2025, a combination of physical and augmented reality gene stream songline sculptures are plotting out the songlines all across Australia and simultaneously through growing a global web of sculptures connected to the gene streams online learning and teaching tools, we're able to bring people into an awareness of the threatened species in their region. Wouldn't that be amazing? Yes, that would be amazing. Our vision is to involve and unite communities from a broad background of disciplines across our planet to create an icon that promotes consciousness about caring for country. This Gene Stream Songline story will create an awareness for the global audience about the preservation and respect of our indigenous ecological knowledge for the benefit of our future generation to continue the practice for prosperity to ensure that traditional practices are nurtured and not lost. The richness of these song lines is about caring for country through spiritual synergies of the land in all its realm. Reconnecting to country with a deep time awareness of our place our and our location within the tree and our roles and responsibility as custodians in bringing species and ecosystems back into balance. What excites me about this project is that it's a retelling of an old story in a new way. It's combining two narratives of our First Nations peoples whose footprints are all over Australia. It tells how our people survived. It tells about the creation of the landscape within the Dreamtime stories. It tells about the protection of the country. It tells about honouring our flora and fauna. It tells about the ecologic knowledge and of how we care for country. So within this project, there are many stories which will be retold that brings everybody into the spirituality of treading the footprints of our ancient people. The song lines don't have borders. 
and the gene streams certainly don't have borders. And therefore, we invite you to walk with us on this journey, on this global movement of growing and caring for a green and connected future.